Hey, I'm Rob uh, with skis.com and snowboards.com. I'm here with John, our Giro rep. Right. Thanks for joining us, John. For sure. We're here talking about a great new helmet for the 2013-2014 season from Giro, the Combine. Uh, I actually own this helmet, I've used this helmet, love this helmet, yeah. uh, huge fan. Lots of new things to talk about with this helmet. Uh, where do we even start? <laughs> uh, you know, you gotta start right at the beginning that it's game-changing technology. And with Giro, we first launched and introduced something called in-mold technology a decade ago. But the common place for helmets has been hard shell. So in-mold, super lightweight, hard shell, not so lightweight, but also really economical. This is the first ever soft shell technology helmet. And when I say soft shell, I mean literally it's built on a soft shell platform which is revolutionary. Custom fit out of the box for every head shape. Like the first time I put it on, I'm like, oh, that's kind of different. It literally within seconds, it changed the shape of my head. I think you had the same Yeah, it's very true. It, it really does. You can feel it kind of adjusting to you and you don't get that that weird, that hot spot that you get in a lot of helmets. You know, after a long day, it's really, it just stays comfortable all day long. Yeah, no, that's only half the new story with soft shell. The other big part with soft shell is we've introduced a new technology called vinyl nitrile. And if I can borrow that, vinyl nitro is a proprietary material we're using within our brand groups. Um, and it's not just the way the material is laid up, it's where it's configured and how it's configured. And there's two different densities. So the big challenge, the big cost of progression, whether you're free ride, park, or big mountain, is you bang your head a lot. You know, you catch an edge, you know, ollieing onto a box, whatever, and you just don't stick it and boom, you're down. So number one, you blow up your helmet. Number two, hopefully, you don't blow up your head. And so the whole focus with soft shell and vinyl nitrile is we can control the loads and the impacts at different levels. So that low energy, low speed dunk obviously is controlled by one component. And again, the big one where you just don't make you know, the gap or whatever, or you don't stick the line dropping into a chute, actually is gonna be controlled through another environment. So independent, it's the first, the first ever helmet that can control different energies, different loads repeatedly, which is very cool. Very cool. Uh, another cool feature with this, lots of venting here. Yep. Uh, super cool vents from Giro. Yeah, you've got stack vents on the front to help draw moisture and the dead air out of your goggle and pour it out through the top of the helmet with the stack vents on top. And then throughout the top, you know, again, if you're riding hard, you're going to build up some heat. We've got active vents that just continually pour the energy right out. Another cool thing that I think on that venting scale people will like, it's actually got a subliner built right into it that you can fully remove. And as well as removing that, you can pull the neck roll out. You can even pull the goggle clip off of this helmet so that you can always beanie ties it. So I think you wear a beanie on occasion. Mm -hmm. Pull all this stuff out, drop it right in. You've got your skull candies rocking on the outside or you can use our audio kit on the inside. The combine's fully modular. Yeah, and that's one of the big things I like with this helmet is you, you talk about some of the the technology and you immediately think kind of part kit and all that, but it's a very versatile helmet. Like you said, you can take everything out yeah. and, and be the beanie, but you can, I mean, anyone can wear this helmet. It's not just that part kit, it's, it's really anybody. It's such a versatile shape and style. It was. Um, the other thing that our athletes demanded out of this through the R&D process is a low profile helmet. They just didn't want that big you know, dome on top of their head. So low profile fit, fairly lightweight for the technology in the category. Uh, but the whole story behind this is soft shell and vinyl nitrile builds a helmet that's just bomb proof. You can bang this thing through the trees, through the park, wherever you're skiing on the mountain, it's going to come back for another punch. Yeah, it's huge. This is a great new design from Giro. Uh, again, it's the Combine. Thanks, John, for joining us. Uh, again, I'm Rob from skis.com and snowboards.com. Uh, have a great day.